Hey, Penny Fish, 22nd of July, 2019. And over the last week or so, I have gotten multiple emails, messages, questions, people wanting me to look at this YouTube channel, and we know, okay? So I've gone and taken the time to watch his last couple of videos, and there is no doubt that this dude is a total deceiver. Even if he's real because this stuff is so scripted and so edited that no way one man could do this okay it's just it's just not possible okay so I looked at his videos he's putting out a false message big time and deceiving people by tagging his uh, channel with scripture Romans 828 which uh, he doesn't give you 827 which is seeking the hearts it's where the heart is you know what i'm saying we could go through all this scripture maybe he's deceived himself because that is often the case okay so we got to pray for these people we pray for him we pray for trump even if this guy's even real because i'm telling you that there is no way somebody can produce these videos two three of these things a week it's impossible there's no way just my opinion okay but my random Bible verse this morning kind of sewed it up to make this video. Ezekiel 2, 2 and 3 talks about rebellious Israel. Okay, so when that popped up from my random Bible verse, um, I kind of knew that I was supposed to do this. I don't like doing it, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that has rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. And that's what this all ties into. The synagogue of Satan, this is a, a very cunningly devised plan to get people who have hope and have goodness in them to believe the lie that a man, that men are going to clean up this filthy place, right? So, like I said, I watched a couple of his videos. He's talking about... Trump confirming and revealing that he's taking control of chemtrails, I didn't see anything that would even come close to, to verifying that at all. It's very scripted, heavily and professionally edited. There's no way you can do two to three of these videos a week by yourself. It just can't happen. Not without a ton of pros, I'm telling you. And AI is playing a part in this. This guy might not even be real. At best, he's just reading a script, and then everything else is built behind it. That's how they do it, okay? Uses gematria in everything. you got to understand God's numbers. You really do. It's where your heart is that determines whether you're reading properly and truthfully or not. It really is. And it goes right back to his own tag verse, 827. You know, he, see, he searches the hearts. That's what he does. And if you're doing these things and using gematria for nefarious reasons, to make money or to fool people, what have you, then it's evil it, and you're not going to produce fruit. This doesn't produce any fruit at all. None whatsoever. Okay? So, you know, I'm basically I'm calling out this channel. He's pushing false information, false doctrine, and he's calling Trump, Q, and the U.S. military the saviors of the world. Literally. I've dubbed them the devil's trinity trump q in the military he, he refers to trump as the maestro which means master you must trust him trust the plan because they're perfect and flawless men okay the president he equates him quite literally to moses he really does here's a fun thing that a lot of people may not have known did you know donald trump his first school he attended all the way up to age 13 was known as the Q Forest School. I found that to be very fascinating. The Q Forest School. And Q is like this unbelievably perfect secret operation to clean up the world. And they're doing a very good job at deceiving people. Very good job. You know, they threw us the uh, Einstein, whatever his name is, the pedo there. They throw him out for a bone, you know what I mean? To keep keep the soap opera going. You know, the Q School's uh, motto was ad sumum, meaning to the top. 
and their emblem is a outstretched arm with a torch. You know what I'm saying? This is all crazy. And then Trump went straight on to uh, Fordham, Jesuit-run school. I mean, it's just that simple. He's not a spirit-filled Christian man. He's not. You're not going to be swearing at rallies and just looking to see what the reaction will be. That's just to measure the people. That's all it is. Will they still follow me and believe that I'm a spirit-filled Christian man if I use the Lord's name in vain? Apparently they will, because it's just no big deal. You know, his, his house, we'll look at that. We can look at that right now. His penthouse has literally the apotheosis. He has himself rising above the clouds. Okay, just like in the Washington Dome, the apotheosis of Washington, I will ascend above the clouds. You see where I'm going with this? I, I can't help it. It's another deceiver. You need to be aware of this. There's no way that YouTube, Google, you know, don't be evil, the, the very serpent itself, there's no way they're going to allow the kind of exposure that this person is bringing out. Because he is. He's talking about the the blood sacrifices, the whole thing. But he's putting a Christian spin on it. This is what they're doing. They are revealing themselves. They're waiting to see how you'll react. And it's a spiritual war. It's, it's only from a spiritual perspective will any of this be defeated. You need Jesus Christ. It's the only way you're going to indwell his spirit in order to discern the truth. Because that spirit is the only thing that will witness that truth to you. It's just that simple. There's no way that Google's going to allow this stuff to grow at this exponential speed. You do not grow to 200,000 subscribers in 11 months talking about the things he talks about. Trump confirms he took control. That just cracks me up. And you do not get more views than you have subscribers. It just doesn't happen that way. It's obvious, people. He pushes all the usual stuff, the NASA, the Space Force, all these things. you got to remember, these people work for the most subtle of any beast in the field. You see what I'm saying? He's the one that told the woman, Did God really say you shouldn't eat of every tree of the garden? Remember Trump's snake poem? Who's really the snake? Who's really the woman? Do you understand what I mean? I see the woman as these hopeful, quote, patriots, people with hope in them and goodness in their hearts, being deceived like sheep to the slaughter. That's what they are. And the snake, along with all his cohorts. You know what I mean? The support of NASA. Again, Israel ties right into all of this. I'm telling you, Israel, remember their little space probe that they supposedly sent to the moon? Rebellious Israel? You know? Bereshit, funded by this guy, Maurice Kahn, who was in the uh, Israeli tweeter the other day on their space tweet site with the newspaper. They've landed on the moon. Dream of the ages comes true. The impossible becomes possible. And again, yes, they pulled off the impossible. They fooled the world. And now they're on the verge of their next great deception. That's just the way it works. This guy, Maurice Kahn, he's just another member of the synagogue of Satan. That's all there is to it. Kahn. <laughs> anyway, Trump has resurrected the military. He repeats these things over and over, how the military's the savior. Even in the Hebrew language, 5377 in the concordance, Nasha as in NASA, literally means to lead astray, to beguile, you know, like the woman in the garden, the snake, the poem Trump likes to tell. Now he's purifying the skies with healthy chemtrails, but it's all in secret. Unless you have the secret decoder ring, then you can know, right? So you got to listen to him. But don't worry, he trains his viewers. He offers he offers to train people to decode and gives little challenges to keep them as good members of the team. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, but this is a big deception, man. It's got to be brought out, really. So, you know, and he throws in token scripture. 
does a little milk toast prayer with Jesus attached to it just to make it look good but that's what he's doing this is just a hardcore deception people and then and the thing about gematria he uses a ton of gematria okay now it can be good and it can be evil because it, when it's for the purposes of God it's for good just like what he says in his uh in his own little motto that he uses in Romans and we know all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are the called according to his purpose and this is not for God he searches the heart are you using it in a righteous Holy Spirit led way or seducing spirits and for a reward because this man in his video literally tells us how he gets rewarded by the maestro if he gets the little riddles correctly I'm not kidding you okay this is really really deep deception we're talking about here his his gematria is all over the place and it's used and twisted to fit the agenda Revelation 13 18 okay count the number of the beast it's a number of a man 666 if we take his simple gematria and we multiply it by six the number of a man and we know is a 660 okay Apollyon matches it perfectly and what have we been talking about Apollo Apollyon president matches it perfectly and it goes on and on now I'm seeking this through truth okay so this is what's revealed and we know Apollyon you can't make this stuff up president Adolf Hitler okay Rockefeller this is just very revealing Elon Musk Osama bin Laden same exact numbers see this is what God does to people who uses his numbers in deception he reveals them and that's what he's doing how else are you going to explain in the Hebrew language the concordance 660 literally means a serpent a viper so that's my official call out to this channel and we know pray for them pray for the president pray for all them to come to Christ because it's the only way the only truth peace and grace to you many fish finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God